What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you with more Dokkan Battle. That's right, we're bringing it back to the channel. Uh, I say every time I say that, we take like three days off. I need to stop saying that, don't I? Uh, I really am super stoked for all the stuff that is happening right now in 5th Anniversary. It really has rekindled my love of the game. So let's jump in here. God level intensive training. This is a once a day thing where you can actually acquire skill orbs, uh, which literally are kind of like the new orb uh, element. Now, when you come in here, you got to run this five times. You'll get a 55 summon ticket. If you haven't been following along, you need to acquire those. That's for the 55 unit summon. It is a free guaranteed LR in 55 units. Who knows what they'll be? You could get a dozen necessaries, you could get none, but there will be a guaranteed LR at the end, so it is 100% worthwhile. We'll do our own video on that and all the missions here shortly, because not all the missions are live yet. But first time we clear it, we're actually going to get the new Goku for the event, so let's go ahead and jump in here. And this is a really interesting situation. I don't really care who I'm running. I'm just gonna... Shouldn't matter too much, if I'm completely honest here. So, though, if I'm... I did kind of screw the pooch on that one. There we go. Bam. Bam. Alright. So, hopefully each one of those will yield a, uh, a skill orb. That would be pretty nice. Uh, I had, did not run this when it was available on JP. I recently actually completely reinstalled my JP account. So, we're going to be golden there. And I'm going to put Goku and Rale here. Bam. And I'm trying not to get all those green orbs. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and get the green orbs now. But a boom uh, We are still running the nuke lead from the previous event. But once again, I don't suspect Whis is going to be too difficult. So. But let's see. Let's see what happens here. I wasn't really thinking this through. And we beat him with 300k hits. So that's kind of what I was expecting out of an out of a, uh, a hard event. So we got a bronze skill orb. Hopefully the other two uh, spots landed as a skill orb as well. Once again, this is this is fresh. I I didn't run this on the JP side. I haven't done this one before. Um, so we're kind of doing this all together on our own. So two missions completed, and we got several skill orbs, in fact. Looks like we got a silver skill orb. Say it. And a dragon stone. I'll take that. So if we go over to the hidden potential, okay, uh, you'll see here that we've got Boo. I'm going to go ahead and grab... Who can I grab? Gohan. Let, let me some Gohan. Gohan actually doesn't have two dupe paths open, so we're going to grab someone that does have two dupe paths open. Let's just say... Uh, what percentage are they at? They got one. We need two dupe paths. Screw it. I'll use them. Uh, I do love this unit. You know what? Let's grab... Let's grab an LR that actually has two dupe paths open. Uh, we're going to grab... GT Trio? Yeah, they got three or three uh, opens. That's kind of nice. So we'll utilize them for now. Uh, great unit. Absolutely fantastic unit. And definitely wouldn't hurt. So basically, once you... In fact, you know what we could do here? Have an even better idea. I just opened up Majin Vegeta's uh, dupe path. If you guys haven't seen basically how this works under the new system, uh, if I go in here, open up a third dupe path. Bada bing, bada boom. And it's going to cost me two Awakening Medals, uh, but actually that will reverse my my Vegeta, and he's already got two dupe paths. So, never mind that. Disregard. We're going to go back and grab GT Trio and just do it this way. Basically, when you unlock two skill paths, you're going to unlock these different skill orbs that you, uh, skill orb paths that you can open up. If I go up here to the top, I can actually apply this bronze one. That's going to give me uh, attack level one. Yeah, level one attack. It says equipped attack character attack plus 100. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, this one right here, the bronze one, or I'm sorry, that was the bronze one. The silver one says skill orb type d uh, defense boost plus one. So that's really nice. So we can actually add that to somebody who doesn't have a huge amount of defenses. Basically, it does a lot of the same stuff that the uh, like minded skill looking things from the ability system do. So, skill orb you can equip to a character whose super attack is level 10 or higher. That is one thing to pay attention to. Some of these skill orbs, I'm looking at you gold skill orbs, some of them are really specific, and there's some that you can only apply if you have the unit 100% in the ability system and a second one. Yes. So, 
when it comes to that, I can actually go up here. I don't have any of those units yet, but I can actually grab my LR Gogeta from the third anniversary, this unit right here, because I actually have a second one in the works. That is, we go to, not to Fusion, Growth. Uh, I've got a second one that is at the base level. So some of those golds I would actually be able to use, and I actually use this unit all the time still. Uh, we don't have any gold orbs yet, but it is one of the thing that, things that is coming. Just know that's basically how you would apply it. So I'd go in here, grab a silver. I can't apply that silver. Interesting. Very interesting. Why could I apply that to the trio and not them? A skill orb you get equipped to a character whose super attack is level 10 or higher. The skill orb's level is added to the equipment character or equipped to the character's hidden potential skill level. So, pretty straightforward stuff. I don't think they really need a defensive boost. I'm going to think long and hard about how I'm going to handle this. But you can apply one bronze, one gold, and one silver uh, to each unit. They are unlocked at different intervals. You can see I've got all three unlocked here. I know this. the bronze should be just base. The bronze should be able to do to just about anyone. Let's grab... Who do we have here? So, case in point, Beerus. Beerus actually has... We can do bronze. We can do silver. I'm not sure why we can't do the ones that we already have applied, but probably because we don't have all the paths open. To unlock the gold slot, by unlocking two characters' hidden profile... Uh, two characters, hidden potential route. So because I don't have any dupes of Beerus, I can't do it. Um, let's see. Do we have anybody that is base level? Let's... Hmm. Let's just grab a base SSR. Oh, we can't do that. They have to be, T they have to be UR. I wonder if there is a UR that would do it, interestingly. Um... We can do this by activation and then ascending order. Ah, yes. Super strikes. So I could actually apply it to a super strike, funny enough. Um, but yeah, the long and the short of it is you'll be able to apply these basically in the same fashion that you would. There we go. There's my strength bonus mechanics. Um, so it'll tell you right here if it's locked what you have to do to unlock it. But pretty straightforward stuff. Go through every single day, collect your skill orbs. I'm not actually going to apply any yet. I'm going to think long and hard about how I want to do this because once they're applied, they're stuck, right? We do also have the sticker system. Very similar thing. Um, it is picky about who you can acquire here, uh, but let's just grab him for the sake of silliness. And, like, he's got two different stickers that I could select, and it's just going to change the way he looks. It's not really that impressive. But once again, once the sticker is applied, it cannot come off. Uh, I believe you can override them, but they cannot come off. So when you get stickers, when you get um, orbs, when you get all this stuff, think long and hard about how you want to do it. But make sure you're running the event every single day. If we can go back in here to start an event and go to growth. See, it's turned off right now, but in fact, I got my mission in there. Bam. So we'll go get our... Uh, AGL Godku. I got four more of these beasts. Basically, by the end of the week, I'll have my uh, one there. But this should be new uh, running, I believe, every day. I think this is indefinite. I don't think this is a timeout. Okay. So this event period ends on 8-10. So take that back. It does run out at the end of the event. So, but they'll probably bring something back. Uh, we'll get we'll have tons of ways to get them after this. Well, let's say I won't say tons. We'll have ways to get them after this. So the long and the short of it is, go take advantage of it, guys. Don't miss out. You have about two hours left today. It'll be back at 8 p.m. Eastern time, whatever that is your time. So go have fun, guys. That's the video. Like, comment, share, and I'll catch you on the next one.